What's up YouTube? I'm Cory with Cory's Card Craze. And we have another booster box opening today and that is the 2013 core set of Magic the Gathering. For those of you who want to see the box, I know some people were complaining that I was showing the box, but I think it's pretty neat. I always like seeing what the art on the boxes are. This one's pretty basic, just black with some words. But yeah, I'm going to crack all 36 packs in this in this video. Hopefully uh, pull some good mythics. Not really looking to make any money off this box. I, I think I paid I say 85 for it altogether. There we go. Maybe 80. I don't remember. I got it for uh, pretty cheap off of eBay. Cool insert there. Uh, who's that? Uh, Nico Bolas. And there's that. I'll just put that off to the side for now. There's the packs. We are going to get them all out. And set off to the side. Get all these guys open here. Alright, there you go. Empty box. Put that off to the side. There we go. 36 packs. Easily my favorite core set that ever came out. The Garouk in this set is my favorite. Planeswalker. There's all sorts of uncommons in this set that I love. The uncommons we're looking for are Rancor, Jace's Phantasm, and Reliquary Tower. There's all my commons over there. And oof, that's actually a pretty good rare if you're running a goblin deck. And hey, foil Jace's Phantasm. That's a great pull. I'm actually gonna get that foil in a sleeve. I have all my perfect fits off to the side here. There we go. That's a nice pull. Right off the bat, foil Jace's Phantasm. And just as I was talking about it too. That's pretty funny. There's another one. And clone is my rare. Reliquary Tower. Hellion Crucible. Oh, I skipped one of the uncommons. Whoops. Hellion Crucible is going to be my rare, as you can see there. But I did pull a rel Reliquary Tower. That's a good, good uncommon. I'm actually going to put that down there. And you know what? Now that I think about it, let me grab out Jace's Phantasm. And I think the mythics you want to look for are Acroma's Memorial and Omniscience, I want to say, is the other really good mythic in this set. Revive, Thrag Tusk, I remember when that was a $5 rare. Not so much anymore. Trading Post. And I believe the best the best rare in the set that you want to pull is going to be the I'll change my light here. There we go. It's going to be Gilded Lotus is the rare that we're looking for. Sorry, I had to crack my neck real quick. It was starting to get tight. Nothing, nothing. Dragon Skull Summit. Nice land there.
Carnamaton, Ring of Colonia, Oblivion Ring, <laughs> great uncommon, Battle of Wits. I always thought that was one of the dumbest rares ever created until my friend made a deck where you run four of those and he ended up winning, I think it was like a 300 card deck, and he ended up winning, pulling, uh, I don't even remember, it was years ago, back when the set came out. Hey, there's Nicol Bolas, a sneaky little little dragon you, and a wall of fire foil. And he is a mythic, so I'll sleeve him up. Cool looking planeswalker. Huh. Let's see, I'll put you right there. You should usually get, I want to say, four to, four to six mythics per pack, or per box rather. And two, hey, Stuffy Doll, that's another great rare. And two, oh, two foil rares, sorry. I get distracted very easily. Foil rare, Slumbering Dragon, and a Stuffy Doll. Let's see, I'm going to put my foils there. Uncommons can go over there. All right, this will be if I get any good rares, I'll put them right here. All right, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. I usually just figure things out as I go here. I get excited, want to get stuff open, and don't think too much about my setup here. A Rancor, put you down there. It's a great pull. Staff of Nin. Rancor is a great uncommon. If you don't know about it, you should. Great uncommon. Sleep, worm, kite sail, magma quake. Another staff of Nen. That was like almost back to back packs. I think it was just a pack apart. Strange. Very strange. The old switcheroo. Faith's reward. Alright. They're a third of the way through. Good amount of packs still to go. Void Stalker. And no foil. Only two foils so far out of the whole box. Ring of Thune, Fog Bank, hey, another Reliquary Tower, Sun Petal Grove, rare land there. Land control Forest of Plains. All right, huh? Nice little rare land there. I love rare lands, even if they're not worth anything. I really like them. I don't know why. Oh, there goes all my comments. We have. Vampire Nocturnus for my Mythic. Let me fix this pile here. This is what happens when you have poor stack maintenance. Stuff just falls everywhere. There we go. And because it's a Mythic, I am just going to sleeve it. There we go. I'm doing okay on uncommon pulls here. 
Ring of Thune. Cranko. I have a deck with that guy. Great deck. And he raced for a foil. I think it's my... Oh yeah. Cranko is my commander in my EDH deck. Master of the Pearl Trident. That's actually a decent rare. And... Ring of Evos Isle, uncommon foil. What am I doing here? There's just stuff everywhere. I don't know why these packs aren't opening easy. Opening pretty, uh, pretty tough. Planar Cleansing. It's always a fun, fun card to uh, play in your uh, your local Magic group. Spell Twine is my rare. Boundless Realms. Huh. Really uh, not doing too hot on the pulls here. That's alright, we are more than halfway through. There we go. Revive. Captain of the Watch. I think Revive was just uh, reprinted in Modern Masters 2017, I'm pretty sure. Cathedral of War. Yeah, it was. So I just pulled the foil of it, actually, earlier today. Not in a video. Well, it was in a video. I don't know if that video is going up before this one, after this one. I have no idea. I never know what I'm doing. Oh, Drowned Catacomb. Another rare land. Very nice. Alright. Last stack of packs here. And then we will be done with the M13 booster box. Only pulled out two Mythics. Should be pulling a couple more. Slumbering Dragon, that's the foil I pulled. It looks like we have Tricks of the Trade for a foil. Blood Reckoning, hey, another. Ooh, that's awesome. Pull Jace's Phantasm and Jace Memory Adept right after it. Two Planeswalkers out of one box. Not bad at all. Very nice. Add that to my mythic stack here. I don't know why I have Jace's Phantasm all alone up there, but so be it. Elixir of Immortality, Rock's Faith Mender, another Rancor, Disciple of Bolus, and a Foil Switcheroo.
Yeah, these packs are definitely giving me some trouble here. Touch of the Eternal. Shimmy Inspector. Nothing good. Really nothing good. Pulled some cool mythics. I always am happy when I pull planeswalkers. But I haven't pulled my favorite one. That being Garuk. Yeva Nature's Herald. I think I ran this in a green deck a couple years ago. Back when the set came out. Diabolic Revelation. Alright, well, really disappointed in the uh, the rare pulls anyway. Definitely a lot of playable rares. But, nothing too crazy. World Fire is my mythic and a foil forest. Love foil lands. World Fire is a 9-drop. Exile all permanents, all cards from all hands and graveyards. Each player's life total becomes 1. Well, that's neat. There's 4 Mythics. I don't think we're going to get another one. We have 3 packs left. Yes, and I was just saying we're not going to get another Mythic, and we pull my favorite, Garuk. That's three Planeswalkers out of one booster box. This is easily my favorite card from the entire set. Did not think we would pull him, especially after pulling two Planeswalkers already. Four Mythics, that is awesome. Well, that just made the box for me. So let's see what else we can get out of these last two packs. Stormtide Leviathan. Extremely reprinted rare. I think I have 12 different versions of that guy. Last pack. Ring of Volcus, Knight of Infamy, Fungal Sprouting, Glacial Fortress, and that's going to do it. Well, as you can see below, I did manage to pull a couple foils. Let's see, we have two of each of Jace's Phantasm, two Rancor, two Reliquary Tower, a foil Jace's Phantasm, which is nice. We have five Mythics, three of which are Planeswalkers, Nico Bolas, Jace, and Garuk and the other two being Vampire, Nocturnus, and Worldfire. Not the best pulls, not the worst pulls, but I'm really not going to complain because I did pull my Garuk, which I'm pretty excited about. Check out the links below, the link to my TCG player account, eBay account, and my Patreon account. Thank you for watching, and as always, tune in.